I, I have a question, and forgive me if it's not directly linked to what you've been talking about today, but it's just something that's um, uh, in need of an answer, please. So I, I have a sister who um, I, I'm rather close to. She she reverted to Islam about a year and a half, about a year ago, actually. Um, and and alhamdulillah, wa shukrillah, she's very abiding to the religion and wanting to understand more and do things in the right way. Um, recently, she has expressed the um, the desire to want to see somebody, um, uh, which uh, I'm not sure exactly how the connection was made online, but it was through Islamic content. Um, and she didn't want to con continue the conversation. Uh, and uh, sort of when she spoke to me, we, we, I discussed the, the need to have a mahram involved with her because she doesn't have any family members here. So she has asked for myself and my husband to be her mahram to meet this uh, brother um, and I, I'm really just inquiring obviously apart from the obvious questions of how they practice their deen and their job and their family background um, what would you suggest would be good questions to ask considering um, the brother is um, already a Muslim and uh, this young sister is uh, a revert Please. Wonderful, wonderful, Umu Muhammad. May Allah bless you. Very proud of you and your husband and uh, new Muslim sister. And uh, let me just make a little correction. She said, or what you're saying that she asked you and your husband to be her mahram. Well, in fact, you can never be her mahram. Al mahram is a relationship between a man and a woman. They can never get married they can never get married. Why? Because of a blood relationship or suckling. So brothers and sisters, uncles and uh, nieces, uh, parents and uh, father and uh, uh, daughters, okay? So you and her are sisters, mashallah. That doesn't establish any mahram relationship between you and her. And your husband uh, is a good man, alhamdulillah, is supporting her but he has no relationship with her. Can he be her wali guardian to give her in marriage? Yes, because she doesn't have any family members who are Muslim. So if she chooses so and your husband is okay, yes. And you're both supporting her. So uh, this is as far the correction that I wanted to make. Now, what kind of question? When the man visits you, let him speak his mind. Say whatever he wants to say. Collect these informations from him and start verifying them. So he says, well, I work here and there. I have an office and I sell this or I go to school and I study here and there. I go to classes. I go to the masjid nearby. I have memorized so much Quran. I attend the halqa here and there. Everything can be verified online to make sure that the informations are correct. Okay. And mashallah, simply when you have a meeting, you can have this impression. I feel like this guy is genuine. Uh, this guy is honest. If he is super, super religious and he doesn't have a job, he doesn't work, uh, tell him thank you so much. We'll see you another time, inshallah. And look for a man who's a hard working person. Religion requires us to be independent, to be hard working, to be able to support a family not willing just to live on welfare and donations and government help. The person must be responsible. The person must be capable to provide for family and put bread on the table and take care of his wife and does not give her, you know, does not force her to go to work so that she can earn and provide for him when he staying at home, if you know uh, what I mean, okay? So I am not only concerned about, mashallah, he prays on regular basis and he speaks Arabic and he memorizes so much Quran. This is good. His akhlaq and how he deals with his circle, small circle and bigger circle. And he can find out from where he works, where he lives. Okay. And then, you know, if he says, I normally visit this Islamic center and attend the halqa, I can find out from the imam immediately. May Allah bless you and make it easy for you to find a good suitor for the sister and may Allah grant her a good husband, life mate and goodly offspring. Ameen. What you're doing is an amazing job to help a sister who recently started uh, 
she accepted Islam or started practicing Barakallahu feekum and you brothers and sisters love you all for the sake of Allah.